Welcome to Rogue's Gallery, the Trilby Tours look at the worst golf from each event. This time, we're at Trent Lock for the Championship of Nottinghamshire. On the 12th, Neil Haley seems to think that standing pirate style on one and a half legs will somehow help him deal with this tricky bunker shot. Instead, it just helps him ruin his card. Some top class ditch finding now, firstly from Michael Anderton's tee shot on the 12th. Gary Connell here uses his second shot on the 13th to demonstrate how to enter a ditch that runs across the fairway. And here is Darren Gibbs on the 10th, either entering a ditch or a hedge. It's very hard to work out exactly which. But nowhere near as hard to work out as this shot from Eric Pritchard, as we can't tell which hole he's playing on, or indeed which hole he's attempting to get to. Who'd be a cameraman this week begins on the 13th, with this creditable attempt to hit Matt with a low runner from Danny Phantom. And it's not bad. Aaron Edwards on the 15th goes for a much zippier but less accurate route just past Joe. Lucky Joe. Matt loses sight of the tee shot from new Notch champion Simon Green on the 18th, so it's just as well that it misses him by a few feet. See, there it goes. And clearly inspired by Mr Green, left-hander Andrew Gabitas plays a near-identical shot with a near-identical result. We might have to start camouflaging the cameraman. Who'd be a goose now as Steve Dawson manages to ruin his final hole while the geese carry on with their day, entirely unperturbed. And we'll stick with Steve as his follow-up shot from the drop zone sees his ball independently decide to call it a day and make its own way home, while somewhere Steve is probably being attacked by a flock of vengeful geese. Finally, we head back to the first to discover the only cure for starting your round with a piece of rubbish like this is a friendly cuddle from an over-familiar master of ceremonies. More golfing gaffes coming soon. In the meantime, don't forget to watch the William Hunt Trilby Tour every Monday night on Sky Sports.